Guys, I just want to share my Cherokee purple with you guys. I love, love, love um, this tomato. It's meaty, it's juicy, it tastes like a tomato. LP doesn't like it, but I love this and it is an heirloom. So believe me, I will be saving some seeds and I hope that I have it year round, guys. Year round. I got myself a big spaghetti pot and I've just got done washing these and I'm going to make some tomato juice and it's going to have a lot of different uh, tomatoes in here uh, that is going to give it a unique flavor I'd say. Added note I just want to show you uh, what has happened to a lot of our tomatoes and it makes for more work, basically. Uh, there is some kind of an insect um, that is going into the stem part of the tomato. Now this, it hasn't done, see that black um, looking where, around the stem? So when you pull that stem off and you see these areas, now here, right here is an example. Uh, these little dots. Um, that is a parasite of some sort, worm, whatever it is. And on these, you see how it's got that black center. Uh, now, one that is normal is like that. See the difference? That's a normal one. It has not been attacked. But many, many of these that I am getting ready to cut up uh, for juice, many of them has to have that. Uh, these little cherry tomatoes have to have that center and checked and see what happens is sometimes this whole area here will be black or damaged. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Hey guys, here is my garden tomatoes that are almost ready. I have run them through my uh, strainer and uh, it's almost ready to boil here. And once it starts to have a slow boil, I'm going to maintain that for 20 minutes. And then we're going to have some hot tomato juice with some pepper on top. And it is so good, hot or cold. Uh, so the only thing that I add to this is per quart, one teaspoon of sea salt, which I have another um, video on the tomato juice, one teaspoon of sea salt, and per quart and one to two teaspoons of lemon juice depending on how much a zing you want and you want fresh lemon juice only because uh, that's what really I used to get it get it in the uh, in the quart size uh, glass jar but I don't anymore I only use the fresh to, uh, the fresh lemon juice because oh it's so good Okay, here is my lemon juice from one lemon. That's all I'm going to need. I have seven quarts of tomato juice, and I'm going to add uh, the juice from one lemon, and I'm also going to add the pulp. Uh, there's some bits of pulp in this, and I'm just going to use the kitchen shears and chop that up fine, and that's going in there too. Remember if I said on the other video that I add the lemon juice and the sea salt at the very end of the cooking cycle. I uh, just thought I would throw that in for what it's worth. 